Kijk. Wacht. Kijk. Wacht. Huh? Wacht. Daar. Waar? Waar? Daar. Waar? Daar. Waar? Daar. Waar? Kijk. Wacht. Waar? Daar. Waar? Kijk. Wacht. Waar? Waar? Welcome back to Voice of Indonesia special interview. We have a special guest today, not only one but two, and uh, it's come from far, far, far away country, which is Netherlands. We have the mass theater that been represented by Sara Gianpaolo and also Gianni Norton. Yes. Okay, I said that right. <laughs> oh, yay. I let you struggle a little bit, but it was good. It was good. <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Yeah, good, great. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so, what exactly is this mass theater and what our mass theater will present? Because I heard you were presenting a story about Pert, Pert, Flap, Flap. Yeah, it's about right. a bird. Flap, um, flap. It's, yeah, it's about bird spotters. Oh, so the people okay. watching the birds. Ah, okay. <laughs> so people watching the bird and the yeah. bird will be. Yeah, the birds. Will we don't know if there will be a bird. Oh, there will be. Okay, <laughs> it's a surprise. Then. It's a surprise. Yeah. So uh, it's very interesting because nobody here, especially in Indonesia, giving the title very interesting. And I was like, uh, what's the? How do I read this uh, title? Because <laughs> it's pert pert flap flap. Yeah. yeah. So why do you give that title at first? Well, we were looking for a title uh, that mimics the sounds of birds. So prut prut is the sound the bird makes. And flap flap are the wings. Oh, so it's flapping. Okay. So it's flapping. <laughs> so it's prut prut flap flap. Ah, yeah. interesting. That's only the basic. And this, the, what's the story behind this? So we really wanted to make, um, well, actually, we wanted to make a piece for children about the fact that the world right now is Everything is super fast and it's uh, very focused on if you want something, you need to go out and get it and um, very materialistic also. And we wanted to make something for young children that was more about sometimes we have to wait for things to come to us instead of going out and grabbing everything for yourself. And then we were thinking, okay, but how can we do that for three-year-olds? Because it's for three year the show is for three-year-olds three, three and three years up, old. yeah, three and older. Okay. Uh, and then we thought, oh, maybe we can do it in the form of two people who, are, who really want to see a bird. Uh, and they're going to go bird spotting or oh. bird watching, I think you call it. And then you don't know if the bird's going to come and you can't control a bird because the bird's always free. So it comes when it wants to come and it shows itself when it wants to show itself. So that's how we combine those two elements together. Oh, I see. That's very interesting. Yeah. Is uh, Are you going to be one of the bird watcher, Johnny, or are you going to be the bird? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I, I will be one of the uh, bird watchers okay. uh, in the show. Uh, so it's going to be a very difficult task to uh, find a bird or, or not. I don't know. You know <laughs> I, I, in the real life, have you ever been bird watching, doing the bird watching? Yeah, I, I, I've actually been uh, once. Ah. Uh, with my uh, father-in-law, he's a he's a he's a real uh, avid bird watcher, mm. and uh, so he took me once. It was a while ago, so um, it's a very interesting thing to do because it takes a lot of time, takes uh, takes a lot of patience. Um, so it, I think it's nice to just watch birds and then be very patient, just if, enjoy. If the birds don't come, yeah, then. You made a nice trip. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be in, in a particular place when you want to do the bird watching to see the... Well, in the Netherlands, it also depends a bit on the type of bird you want to see. So oh. we have the birds that are more in the sea area or in the woods, but our play is in the woods. Okay. Yeah. So you were targeting about uh, for a three-year-old kid and above. Yeah. Why? 
I really, I've always, uh, I made the show together with Esther and uh, I've always made shows for the really small ones. Uh, and at least in the Netherlands, a lot of the theater shows for young kids are a bit, mm, well, I don't want to say boring, but they are like, there's always like very cute and mm. very, uh, like as if they're little babies. And I've always said, but they're, even though they're small, you, you shouldn't underestimate them because they're actually a lot smarter Smart. sometimes yes. also than the adults. <laughs> <laughs> so I really, li- and I like the fact that, that the three, four-year-olds, they still have all of their imagination. So if we, even if you don't show it to them just by mimicking, oh, there's a bird, they will completely believe that the bird is there. Yes. And that's what I really like about that age. Yeah. So you can create whole worlds with them even if you only have. It goes to the next questions actually because they're small amounts of dialogues in this yeah. in this uh, show right and how hard for you as an actor to do the bird watching but you don't have many dialogues to do well for me personally um i, I kind of like it because then i can explore like my physical uh movements and my physical way of 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 being an actor so me personally i really like it um it's also it, i think it gives a it gives a other dimension when there is like not a lot of dialogue because uh you can like not only you spark the imagination of someone else that you are like playing for but you also spark your own imagination more so then you just take the time more just to look around to really try to you have time to imagine yourself being in the woods and being um, really looking for uh, a bird in this How challenging is that? Well, for me it's not challenging. I think I think I'm I'm also still a little kid somewhere <laughs> okay. in my mind in my in my mind I'm uh, s- somewhere still a little kid. So for me I I have a really vivid imagination. Mm-hmm. So I think it's really nice to be able to use that <laughs> and finally can like relax when I'm on stage and not think about my lines too much okay. uh, and then just like be in the moment oh. and really experience like the bird watching in a sense. Ah, yeah. okay, so it's not too challenging but you only express yourself as a child. No, I don't <laughs> express myself. No, no, no. I don't express myself as a child. I think I think I tap in a little bit oh, in my okay. inner child's uh, ability to have like a really uh, vivid imagination. Oh. That, I think that's it. And I think it's also nice because we live in a world right now where we're a lot in our heads. Uh, and that's if we talk, then you have yeah. to, you are also in your head. So it's nice to just be able to sit and watch. And also, especially children now, they're so used to watching things online. So they will watch a movie for like 10 seconds and then go to something else and then go to something really else. And with the a theater man. show, yes. you have to, it's like a 40 minute show. So they have to sit and watch 40 minutes and you just have to do the whole the whole show and I like that I like yeah. that so you have to pack that in a very interesting way for children right yeah and uh, there's a bit of lines and how do you make the concept earlier for for this uh, show itself well f- uh, in a part we knew that we kind of knew that we wanted that we have this thing of the bird watching we also n- knew that we wanted that at the end of the show they're gonna discover that the bird or, or that the freedom that the bird stands for is actually within themselves. So they will eventually turn into birds themselves at the end of the show. Uh, and we knew, we just, Esther and me just took time to think, okay, what are all the things that can happen during bird watching? Because it's not just, they're not sitting there for 40 minutes and just watching, they're actually doing a lot of things. They're waiting for the birds to come, but they're actually doing a lot of things. They're completely covered in sweat at the end of the show. <laughs> so, and we knew we wanted to put dance in them. We knew we wanted to put singing in it. Uh, and so we came up with a lot of different things that can happen. And then we made scenes around that. Oh, it's quite interesting. So you have to be able to um, make the children who watch uh, in the show sit for about 40 minutes yeah. and attracting them to sing together. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I have a little bit of leak? What kinds of song that you're going to bring and perhaps sing just the yeah, one or two? You can ask Chani maybe, maybe if he yeah. wants to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, someone is calling me. I, I also, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, coming. No, 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 you're the lead singer of <laughs> no, a band, of no, course. No, no, no. I know you. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. no, it's. Um, uh, yeah, well, it, uh, especially, well, the song that I sing, 
it's actually uh, a uh, I don't know how do you say it in English. I think it's a comforting uh, it's comforting like song, like almost like a lullaby. Oh, okay. Almost like, yeah, that's it. It's a lullaby. Without words. Without words. Without words. Without words. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just uh, I'm just repeating what you're saying. Okay. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Uh, but yeah, it's a lullaby. Uh, I can do it like a, li a, li shall like a, li a little, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Uh, That's it. I don't want to give away too much okay. because then people... We have to watch it. Yeah. You have to watch it. Come watch. To know more about it, we have to watch it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and um, the show is with two people, so you also have a song that you sing together with the actress ah, that's also in it. Yeah. yeah. So so there's an uh, actress as well. Yeah. One actress, and her name is... Henke Tuinstra. Ah, okay. Yeah. And she will be accompanying you in the theater. There's only two person. Only two people, yeah. yeah. Only two person, and... Uh, the show is made, it's two people, because we, we play it in theaters, but in the Netherlands we also play it in schools, and often the spaces there are smaller. Small. So the, we completely made the show in a way that they can build the entire set within like an hour, and they can play it just with two people, so we are flexible to do it everywhere and anywhere, and that's also part of why we do it without language. So um, it's very easy to, understand to have a lot of children yeah. who can see it. Yeah. yeah. And also because we've noticed we've been touring quite a lot not with this show, but with our company all over the world, that even though every country has its differences, the children, in a way, are the same. Like, yeah. the so three-year-olds. So, so do you think, for, for the market, as a director, do you think this show will be successfully entertaining Indonesian children who watch... I hope so. <laughs> no, I think we <laughs> just. What's your did expectation in this? It's actually because we just finished the show. We made it like uh, we did the first shows in the Netherlands just last week, and what I really like there is that uh, the children copy everything we do. So and, that, and we wanted that to happen. So they will make bird sounds, and the children will make the bird sounds. They are doing movements, and the children are copying in the movements. And what's why I really like that is because because of that, the children will feel like they're also in this in the same woods with us, doing all the bird spotting, but also. There are also scenes that are really about waiting, and you can see the kids that they they do think, oh, waiting is hard. it's hard to wait and just sit there and be patient, and I like that because they are copying the actors, they are going through the same thing. So that's really nice, I think. Okay, wow. And I think yeah, it should be fun for the Indonesian. We're also mim we're like copying also Dutch birds, so that could be fun. I don't oh, know if okay. all the birds that we are doing are also here. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> it could be fun to see what happens there. Yeah. Wow, you've mentioning earlier that you're also traveling worldwide. So how many countries that you've been traveling to perform this event only? Mm. Uh, the show. The well, this show, bird, because bird it's just pop. finished. For now, you are the first ones. Mm. Oh, uh, So cool. that's nice because we... you always been the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, you're the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But for example, the other show that we did here last year, Bully Bully, that's been in like, I don't even know how many countries. They're going to Australia next and we've mm. been in... Turkey, in Germany, all over Europe, in Korea. Yeah, we're going wow. all over the okay. place. <laughs> and after Indonesia, the second country will be? We don't know yet. Well, Belgium. first we're Belgium. Yeah, that's true. Belgium. We're going to go to Belgium. Yeah. Oh, th that's far. Yeah. Near, near, y you went wow. home after that? Oh, no, we're going, to b we're, going to, we're going to go back to the Netherlands first. Mm -hmm. and do Because we haven't permitted. We have to still do the premiere, okay. so we're going to do the premiere in the Netherlands, and then they have a tour this year through the Netherlands. Because you normally the first year normally we stay a little bit more in the Netherlands so that the children there can also wow. see it. Okay. But we have some shows in Belgium also. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Good luck for you Thank because you. I've heard you're going to do two shows here in Indonesia yeah. uh, well, tomorrow and also Friday. Yeah, in Jakarta we do two, and then we are also going to Surabaya oh, okay. and to Padang. Oh, okay. so we do two days, right? Two days two, in two Jakarta, days and then four four times we're playing four times. Yeah, uh, four times yeah. in two days. Yeah, yeah, four so times. So twice a day. Yeah, twice it's a like day. Like drinking medicine. Uh, yeah. Almost, yeah. Almost, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is also good for you, like uh, medicine. So. Ah, <laughs> okay. So, anyway, is this your first time to come to Indonesia? Yes. Yeah, for me too. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, what do you think about Indonesia? Well, I bet you haven't tried a lot of food. 
Well, no, I'm, I am going to try a lot of food, okay. especially me, because I really like eating, as you can see. Uh, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen much of Indonesia yet because we just arrived yesterday. And so actually we went to the hotel, we ate something, went to sleep, woke up and then came here, came, came, here. Here, came here. But uh, I think today we're going to do some some stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, we're going to the old city, uh, I think. Old, ci yeah. uh, old Ooh, city, old I city, think. yeah. And then also an old mall, the yeah. first mall. Of, I don't know. If okay. It's like, I don't know. So somebody told us we had to go somewhere. And, I'm uh, going. <laughs> and Esther, I think, wrote it down. Yeah. And uh, we're going there after this. After this, uh, yeah. So, uh, but I like it so far. Oh, I like cool. it so far, yeah. yeah. One thing that you have to try so famous also in Netherlands maybe, uh, it's nasi goreng, right? There's yeah, a song yeah. about that also. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in, in, oh, nice. in Netherlands, there's a song about that. Yeah. Oh, I don't oh, know the song. So I know we have nothing. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I don't know. Like, I heard the song, but I don't really yeah. know the song like by heart. But yeah, it, there's a very big like Indonesian. Uh, how do you say that? Uh, uh, community? community community in the, in the in, in Holland in the, in the Netherlands and uh, I grew up with a lot of Indonesian oh, really? people yeah around me um, some of my best friends from back in the day were Indonesian so always like in the summer vacations they would come like to Indonesia and now for me it's the first time like to follow oh. a little bit in their footsteps and okay. try the stuff that they <laughs> told me about there's a lot of food that you have to try here. I will. I will in, try. So, uh, <laughs> uh, in Jakarta, you have to try nasi goreng. Yes. I'm going to give you some clue. Yeah. So, uh, in Jakarta, you have to try nasi goreng. In Surabaya, you have to try rujak cingur. You can write Ooh. it down, Esther. You can write it down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. What is yeah. it? Rujak cingur. It's like a mix of, uh, how did you call it? I cannot explain it really well, but it tastes sweet, sour, and a bit of uh, a savory. So it's like a, it's a really mix in your mouth, but it's so delicious. It's like you umami. have to try that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's different. There's a lot of everything. There's fruits. There's also vegetables inside, and there's also uh, some tongue if you like uh, beef tongue. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They mix yeah. it all together. That's like oh. you have to try. Rujak Cingur in Surabaya and in West Sumatra, you definitely have to try rendang. Ah. And, uh, yes. Rendang, yeah, right? people told yeah. us we had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. to try <laughs> that one. So yeah. if you go to West Sumatra, nice. that's a must. Okay. And the best uh, West Sumatra's rendang is actually made in in a little bit a little bit outside of Padang City. Uh, you can go to. I've known. My boss actually know a person <laughs> there <laughs> who made it so traditional and it's so delicious. And it's quite different from the rendang that you've met in the uh, other seller or the store. So it's like, uh, okay, I will tell you later. It's, 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 it can't be leaked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not here. <laughs> okay, it's, just write it down and okay, put it in the envelope. Down. Yeah. Esther's really writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. All right, then thank you very much and good luck for you guys. Thank uh, you. You're going to the three cities here in Indonesia yes. and hopefully tour to the whole world. So everybody will know this uh, message of yours is actually trying to get the children to know right to, to know about uh, the theater itself and also being patient waiting it's not good but it, you have to be patient to, to, to take something or to see something yeah that you want to not everything is on demand exactly yeah. not yeah. everything is on demand so we need to teach the children right now to be more patient yeah Thank you very much, Sarah, and Thank also you. Gianni. Thank and uh, well, listener, that was our little interview today here, short interview from Voice of Indonesia. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.